get a slice. You know what I just did? I just went out that door, saw a couple of detectives there, and I was about to start bad mouthing behind your back. But I stopped myself, because my dad taught me that a man that talks behind somebody's back is a coward. Well, no, I, I actually appreciate that. Good, because I'm going to tell you directly to your face. Oh no, you don't have to. No, I don't like you. I think you're a fake cop. Some of your piss hitting the urinal sounds feminine. If we were in the wild, I'd attack you. Even if you went in my food chain, I'd go out of my way to attack you. If I were a lion and you were a tuna, I'd swim to the middle of the ocean just to freaking eat you. And I'd bang your tuna girlfriend. First off, a lion in the ocean. Lions don't like water. If you had to place it next to a river or fresh water source, that makes sense. But you find yourself in the middle of the ocean, 20 foot wave, I'm assuming off the coast of South Africa, coming up against a full grown 800 pound tuna with his 20 or 30 friends. You lose that battle. You lose that battle nine times out of ten. And guess what? You've, you've wandered into our school of tuna. And we now have a taste of lion. We've talked to ourselves. We've communicated. Yeah. We've said, you know what? Lion tastes good. Let's go get some more lion. We've established a beachhead to aggressively hunt you and your family. We will corner your pride, your children, your I offering. Do that. We will construct a series of breathing apparatus with kelp. We will be able to trap a certain amount of oxygen. It's not going to be days at a time. But hour, hour 45, no problem. That'll give us enough time to find out where you live, go back to the ocean, get more oxygen, and then stalk you. You just lost at your own game. You are outgunned and outmanned. That go the way you thought it was going to go?